Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, Mr. Adidas. First of all, I would like to get an invitation when you get your doctorate because you invent a few new words. I think it would be quite interesting to get, you know, to the ceremony when you get, you know, your doctorate because you invent a few new words. Thank you. Um, you mentioned a few things tonight concerning spirits. You made some very strong statements here that a, a spirit cannot eat, cannot be seen, etc. Now, I would like to refer the audience and yourself to Surah 19, verse 17, the Surah of Mary. Here we see, he read, We sent unto her our spirit, and it assumed for her the likeness of a prophet, uh, of, of a perfect man. In other words, we read here clearly that God sent a spirit and it appeared in the likeness of a man. In other words, this man was seen, this man was heard, and most probably even could have been touched. We are not told about that. But you told us many fairy tales. We can assume this also, I think, tonight. And so I think, you know, we must ask the question. Sorry. Do we? Yeah, the question. We ask the question. Do we believe the Quran as... Or do you believe the Quran as your guidance, as revelation? Then don't talk in this way about the spirits and about the resurrected Christ. Then we must also ask the question, whom do we give more authority? A word of a man or a word of Jibreel, a word of an angel? It says in the Holy Quran, or it says in the Bible, when Jesus was risen, the, tomb was ro the stone was rolled away from the tomb. Mary Magdalene, she saw an angel inside, and the angel said, He is risen. Do you believe more an angel or a woman who comes and tells the people, He is alive? Right, thank you. Now, if you know your Bible, and it seems that you know your Bible too well, you Shh. read in your Bible that the disciples of John came to Jesus to ask him, are you the one that cometh or do we seek or wait for another? That word disciples of John in your original Greek Bible, which I take you have it, you re read there, the Greek word there is agilos. And agilos means angels. This is in the Scofield's Bible, if you want to have a look. The word there in Greek is agilos and agilos means angels. So, but you, when you're translators, when you're translating for the disciples of John, you don't say the angels of John. What do you say? The disciples of John. When it suits you that the person is angelic, you say, ah, you are an angel. So when it suits you, you translate angel as an angel, and when it suits you, you translate angel as disciples. So who was this inside? Does Mary say that this creature had wings? This angel had wings. When you quoted the Quran, you said that the person that came, the angel came to her as a perfect man, a man in all respects. In other words, in appearance. It appeared to her like a man. If he appeared like an electromagnetic wave, can you imagine what would have happened to Mary? If he appeared like an elephant, you know what would have happened to her? So the natural thing God Almighty does is he when he is sending his message to anybody, he makes that person to receive. So he appeared as a man, the angels can appear as man, but Jesus Christ is proving to the contrary. He is telling that I am not what you are thinking. He says a spirit has no flesh and bones. You are thinking that I am a spirit. He said I am not that, because if I was, I wouldn't have this. Simple logic. He's proving to the and he's eating food. To prove what? That I'm the same fellow man. What's wrong with you? I'm not that apparition. 